Well, you probably wonder what the fuck's going on, but you're about to find out. Hello everyone, this is Mo here. Welcome to my new video. This is my uh, what I did during quarantine 2020 video. Basically just some things that I've been doing during this quarantine that I enjoyed, that brought me a lot of joy and maybe this is some inspiration for you, some things that you could do. Um, I'm in the field of cannoli or canola, I don't fucking know how to pronounce this. Hi y'all, this is uh, Editing Mo. Um, just realized that cannoli is actually an Italian pastry and not a flower. So I'm most definitely not standing in the field of cannoli. I am standing in a field of canola. Anyways, I'm going to take some pictures here and the video will start right now, so enjoy watching. Also, what I forgot to mention, I won't be filming the whole video in here because I, I think this is probably private property, so I'm breaking the law, you know, I'm a gangster. Anyways, um, I'll be filming the rest of the video in my room, um, just so you know. And also this was filmed over several days, so if you wonder why I'm wearing different clothes, that's why, you know? Okay, so the first thing that I've been doing a lot during this quarantine is cooking. Like, it's not full-on proper cooking where I like chop some stuff and some meat and make a sauce and all that kind of stuff. Not like that, because, you know, I'm a teenager, I do enjoy cooking, but it's not like I would prepare a whole, like, meal. Well, I guess it's a meal, but you, you get what I'm talking about. I'm not a freaking chef or your grandma, so I can't cook that well. But like, I've been making a lot of like, I don't know, avocado toast or some pancakes, which like, those are like little and like really easy things, but it adds so much more to my day. Like, some days that would be the only thing I would do. I would wake up, I would make myself a nice breakfast, and then for the rest of the day, like, watch some movies and stuff, but I still felt like I did something since I made myself food. So I felt like an adult who can survive on his own. So if you want to have the same feeling, just, just go make some easy snacks and you'll be happy probably for the rest of the day because food is like the number one thing that makes me at least happy. So maybe, maybe you'll find some joy in that too. So the second thing I've really done a lot of is photography. I really like photography, I normally just do it when I'm traveling, since that's when I have time to do it. Um, but yeah, I've been just riding my bike around my little city and finding some neat little places. And I took a lot of pictures during this time, since I really enjoy photography and I normally don't have the time to do it. Um, also, my art teacher gave us like a prompt that we should document our board, our boredom, our, our boredness, I don't know. like. The way we feel during this quarantine, we should document it. Um, I did a little photo shoot with that, it was just me and my tripod. And um, I just took a picture of me surrounded by all of the items that I used the most during this quarantine. Um, it was pretty fun because like, it, you got to think a little bit about it, what you've been doing a lot. And also that gave me a little inspiration for this video since this is basically a what I did during quarantine. And yeah, the third thing I've done a lot of is painting. I really enjoy painting or like making little sketches or whatever kind of art. I really enjoy art, I'm a really artsy person. But I usually don't find the time to, um, you know, do proper paintings. Um, but now, quarantine, so I have time. I did like two little, little paintings. One of them was like uh, of the ocean and like a wave and a sunset. But I'm also doing a really big painting in the, at the moment, um, which my next video is going to be about that. It's a collage of all of my travels, but you will get to know more about it in the next video. So I will link this up here once it's out. Um, but yeah, if you're an artsy person, now is the time to paint, because you actually have time to paint. Like, I feel like all of these things, I'm just gonna say, you should do it now, because you have the time. But yeah, like, if my grandchildren ask me in, I don't know, 50 years, what did you do during quarantine 2020, I will link them to this video and they will know. People, now comes the time that I'm going to tell you a lot about myself. I recently became a parent, I became a father. Not to a child, but to a lot of plants. Like, like I don't know what it is, I used to have like two or three plants, 
not really exciting about it but now I have so many plants and I just all bought them in the last couple of weeks or I just found them outside or around the house. I used to have like three plants, now I have like 20 plants in my room and my room isn't that big. Over there you can see one of them, it's small palm tree, it wasn't there um, in my other videos but yeah I, I just bought so many plants or I like propagated plants from my other plants or plants around the house and I'm just telling you, you get so much joy from plants, like you, you get to see them grow and like get all those little leaves and flowers and for example I planted lentils and they are actually doing quite well so maybe in a couple of years I'll be able to eat some lentils and, and I'm propagating an avocado right now. Um, you'll get some updates about that, I'm not sure if it's going to work because it's been a week and nothing happened. But anyways, I found so much joy in planting plants, like getting them from the outside or going to the garden center, which they are still open in Germany. Thank you, Jesus. Um, and yeah, I just bought so many new plants and I'm so excited about it. Alright, so the next thing is going outside, experiencing nature. I know it does sound crazy, because like most of you guys probably just chill in bed all day under your sheets, under your blanket, and you watch Netflix. I totally get that, I do that too. But um, it's actually so nice outside right now in Germany. Like the weather is really nice. It's uh, in 20, 25 degrees Celsius and it's so nice. Everything starts to blossom. Like we got all those cherry trees out, all those almond trees. It's, it's so pretty and just you can see how the life is coming back. Well, it's spring, you know. And yeah, what I've been doing a lot is just to ride my bike around my little town. And I actually found a lot of hidden spots here. I found a forest that I didn't know existed. I found a lake, which is a refuge for like birds, which I didn't know that it is here. So it's crazy, just like get on your bike or just like go on a walk and you might find some hidden gems in your hometown, which I'm really like happy that I found all of these places because I will be go going there way more frequently now because it's just really nice you don't have to go somewhere far away to get out into the nature it's often right in front of your house another thing I've been doing is to spend more time with my siblings well actually just with my sister because my brother he doesn't live in our house so we are technically not allowed to see him um, but yeah, me and my sister for example, we packed up a little picnic and then drove to a national park and just went on a little hike. Since that is still allowed in Germany, you're like allowed to go outside on a walk or a hike or whatever. Um, but you gotta check with your regulations in your state cause, um, or country because, you know, some countries have a complete lockdown that you're not allowed to go out and do anything you're just allowed to go out for shopping so you gotta gotta make sure that you are on the right side that you don't break the law but in Germany it's still allowed to go out and you know go for a walk so I encourage you to just I don't know maybe pack a picnic and then drive somewhere where you know it's nice and just do something different for the day you're like in your house most of the time so getting out is really really nice I don't know who needs to hear this but the last point on my list is to actually enjoy the downtime you know, life gets so crazy and stressful sometimes. School, work, hobbies, sports, extracurriculars, you name it. It gets so crazy sometimes and now is the time that you can actually focus on yourself. And I, for example, I really enjoyed having my own time management. I can do my schoolwork when I wanted to, I can paint when I want to, I can just go for a walk when I want to or go do some exercise. I can do whatever I want whenever I want to. And this is just something most of us, including me, don't have all of the time and we often wish for. So just enjoy it. Spend some time with your family, read a good book, maybe take a bath if you're that kind of guy or girl. My sister takes a bath every day. I know that's not good for the environment, Sophie, but she just enjoys it and she can because she doesn't have to, you know, take a shower or bath at whatever assigned time. She can do whatever she wants when she's free to do it. And I just encourage you to do what you want and just to focus on yourself. Maybe set up your goals for the future. Think about your future, what you want to do in the future. You have so much time, just use it. I mean, of course, there are going to be days when you just chill in bed and that's totally fine. But try to make the best out of this time. I know it's, it's crazy and never happened before, 
but if you don't have the coronavirus, there's no reason why you should like have a downtime right now. Just enjoy, be happy. Like, I don't know if you have nice weather, but I have nice weather, so I'm really happy about that. Just, you know, make the best out of the situation for yourself. Alright, I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe and maybe go check out my Instagram if you want to see some of my photography or I post like daily stories of my food. So if you don't want to miss that, go and subscribe to my Instagram and my YouTube. And see you in the next video, which I already told you it's about um, a painting that I'm going to do or that I am currently doing. Bye!